Hi, I'm Ryan Nichol, CTO at DSA Ocean, and today I want to talk about conditioning a mesh for import into uh, Shibble 3D. So the first part uh, I want to talk about today is just checking the normal directions to make sure they're facing the right way. So we have an IGES file uh, of the KCS, that's the Creso container ship, and we're going to open it up in Rhino to take a quick look at it. So you want to make sure you're working with uh, large objects in meters. And we're going to ins uh, import the mesh. Just got a blank folder here with the IGES file in it. And you'll note that um, it's this one in particular is already set up pretty pretty well, pretty nicely. We need to have half the mesh in place and in the positive quadrant here, so you can see it's in the positive. Um, uh, X and Y Z locations. Now you you can have uh, the zero position at the aft perpendicular, which uh, that's nice if you can set that up because uh, the stations line up with the aft perpendicular, and then the station information for hull appendages and all the other bits and bobs and details in the ship make it really easy to, to set up in the ship model later in ship 3D. But if you don't know what the aft perpendicular is, you can just set the transom at uh, the very back of the ship at, at x equals zero. This is set up pretty well. So, but what we want to do is make sure that we've got the normals pointing the right way. So one way to do that is um, use the dir command. But before we do that, I'm just going to take a look at the shaded view here. So uh, turn on shaded view. And you can see we've got some funny colors going on here, red and gray. So there's a setting you can change here in uh, Rhino and customize this to make it really easy. And this is the back face color. Back face is the opposite side uh, from where the normal is pointing. And this just really helps it make it clear about which parts of the mesh are pointing the right way and which are pointing the wrong way. So if you go to Tools, and then Options, go all the way down to View under display modes and then under shaded. So click on shaded and then go down to back face settings. And then click on single back face color and then just pick a color you you know don't normally model with or something that sticks out really well. I'm just going to choose red for the moment. Uh, and that's as you can see that's what's showing up here. So we want to have normals pointing outward out of the hull. And some of them are set up correctly and some of them are not. So if we take a closer look at this front part of the ship here, we'll select this poly surface and go dir. That shows which way the normals are directing, pointing, which way, which way they're directing right now. So you see the white arrows are pointing inwards. We want to flip those around. So press F for flip. Now they're pointing the right way. And press enter because we're done. Okay, wonderful. So basically you can go through each one, and if you press enter again, it'll just do the same command. So flip, okay, um, and ooh, a little bit close there. So I'll select this little curve, and then no, let's do this one. Flip. Roger. Flip. There we go. Progress. Okay, so the other thing is you can select more than one surface at a time. So I know all these ones are problematic, so hold down shift, select, 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 select. Oop, not that one. Ah, start again. Select these ones. Go flip. Enter. Perfect. Just make the screen a little wider to work with here. So. Grab these two. Perfect. We got a few more to do here. Almost done. I think we are looking pretty good. 
So we all gray on this side, and then the back faces are all on the inside. So that's that's where we want to do right now. So that's the first step. I uh, always want to make sure the normals are pointing out for the whole mesh, and uh, that's what I wanted to cover right now. So we're going to save this. I'm going to come back to this and, and do a bit more work on it in, in some other tutorials. So I'm just going to save this for now as my Rhino file, KCS. All right, thanks for watching.